All right, hopefully I'll have enough time to get through all of these by the end of the day. All right, which one did you want me to look at? Five. five, okay, here we go. Let's take a quick look at number five. All right, so as I was typing this up, this, you know, I use Word and sometimes they automatically just throw in some things. So that's not there. All right, so, uh, so far Liam has earned the following scores on five tests. 88, 76, 70, 99, and 97. All right, he needs to average an 88. All right, now the, the troubling thing for me is there's a problem just like this on the other worksheets. All right, so I really am trying to show you if you would just flip back, that's why I gave those worksheets back. All right, it would tell you exactly how to do this. You're adding these five scores up. So it should be 88 plus 76, plus 70, plus 99, plus 97. Do we know the last test score? X. That's why it's X. Then we divide it by how many? And we want it equal to 88. That's all there was to this problem. All right. Now you multiply, obviously, both, by, both sides by six. You add up those five numbers and you subtract. Yes. That's okay. Come on, just tell me what number. All right, let's take a look at number four. Okay. Oh, number four. I'm sorry. Here we go. So, do we agree there are a total of 54 coins? Right. So, since we're talking about dimes and nickels, all right, what do you want to be X? either one and then nickels would be what well because if you have a total the two parts add up to the whole correct so let me see if i told you so let's say there were 30 nickels how many dimes would there be Exactly. Why? Because you did 54 minus 30. Do you see what I mean? Whatever you, whatever one you know, to find the other one, you just subtract from 54. Right? And then obviously a dime is worth 10 cents. And believe it or not, someone asked me, what is a nickel worth? All right. A nickel is worth five cents. All right. I understand you guys can't read clock either because we don't have those kinds of clocks most of you don't care around change anymore so you don't even know what a quarter is or a dime or a nickel all right you should know that though all right and then you just multiply them out now someone asked me yesterday how do i know when to multiply them out well they gave me a value for the money so we would say 0.1x plus 0 0.05 times 54 minus X equals 380. Now, do we agree? I don't, I don't really need to solve that for you, correct? All right. Again, it's solved on the solution. All right. Nope. It would not matter. All right. It's just when you solve this, this answer is going to be what? dimes you with me mm -hmm. so to figure out the nickels i'd have to plug that answer and subtract it from 54 right if you were thinking about it you should have made x the nickels because then your answer is the answer that you're looking for okay. all right yes that's exactly right all right let's take a quick look at six now all right now once again all right we have a total of how many tickets? So everybody should be able to, at this stage, adults and students. Your adults would be what? 920 minus X and your students would be what? Okay. Now, is everybody understanding? We want to label the students X because that's what we're looking for. Everybody agree? Now, is this really any different than the coin problem? 
No, because the adult tickets are worth how much? Four dollars. And the students are worth what? Two dollars. All right, is everybody with me on that? So the adult tickets are going to cost me how much? And the student tickets are going to cost me. And the total bill is what? 2446 Is everybody okay with that? Peter? Yes. Go ahead. Number seven. Okay. Here we go. Got a rectangle. The length is twice what the width is. So the width is X. The length is equal to 2X. A second rectangle, which is 8 centimeters longer. So I'm going to make it 8 centimeters longer. So the length would grow by 8. So the length is... 2x plus 8 and 3 minute 3 centimeters shorter so that would be x minus 3 and that perimeter is 154 so perimeter is equal to 2l plus 2w 154 equals 2 parentheses 2x plus 8 plus 2 parentheses x minus 3. Anybody have any issues? Mr. Grieb, is that a problem? Um, I thought you read it twice. What do you mean? You well, I mean, you could do it twice, but there's a formula, 2 times the length. You with me? If you want, you can put 2x plus 8 up here, and you can put x minus 3, and then you can just say, add up the x's and add up the numbers, right? We don't know what the perimeter for the other one is. Right, right. All right, I don't, I don't want to make it harder. All right, let's slide down to number 18, unless somebody else has a question with seven. Does anybody have a problem with seven? Go. Is it okay, okay, okay. So look, so let's just say, what, what did the answer say X was here? Um, The answer key. X equals so X equals 24, okay? So you plug 24 in here and you plug 24 in here. You plug 24 in here and you plug 24 in here and that'll give you the dimensions. You with me on that or not? Well, because there's a relationship between these two rectangles. Um, Does that make sense, right? Okay, someone asked me a question I already forgot. All right, let's go to 18. All right, very good, very good. All right, a good review of this problem. Hint, hint. All right. UPS charges $7 for the first pound and $3.25 for each additional pound. This was very difficult for kids. So we label it UPS. And we label it what? FedEx. Now you bring a package in. It's going to cost you what? Seven dollars for the first pound plus what three point twenty five parentheses x minus one, not just x. 
What? Were you here yesterday? We had a long, drawn-out discussion about why it's x minus 1. Now, listen, I'm going to tell you again, but listen carefully this time. $7 is the first pound. So if you brought something that's five pounds, you want to pay seven for the first. And how many more pounds do you have to pay for? Four. So I do X minus one. Whatever the cost or whatever the weight of the package is, you subtract one and multiply it by 325. Right? So now because everybody listened, you can now tell me what FedEx is going to be. FedEx is going to be what? 10 plus 2.75 times x minus 1. And then we do what? Set them equal to each other. All right? So we're going to set them equal to each other. All right? And now we solve that out. Right? Everybody okay with that? Anybody have any issues? All right, yes. All right, let's knock out 21. Another really good one. Another really good one. All right. Oliver paid 80 cents for each bag of peanuts. He sold all but 20 of them for a dollar fifty. Is that a pretty good business? Is that a pretty good business? Yeah. He's making what? 70 cents on every bag he sells. All right. He made $54. How many bags did he buy? All right. So here we go. He bought them, correct? And then he turned around and what? He sold them. All right, he bought them and then he sold them. All right. How many did he buy? X. How many did he sell? X minus 20. How much did he pay for the ones he bought? 80 cents. And how much did he sell each one for? $1.50. All right. So how much money did he collect when he sold them? 150 times X minus 20. What did it cost him altogether? 0.80X. This is how much money he created. This is how much money he spent. So what do I do with those two? Subtract. subtract them all right and when you subtract them that will give you the what profit his profit was what 54 dollars. all right so he went to the store every morning and bought some candy and took them to school and he sold them at school and made money all right what say that again so let's say you bought something for $20 and you sold it for $50. How much money did you make? Why did you subtract them? I asked you, how much money did you make? That's why. You made a profit of what? $30. Does everybody agree with me? Do you understand what I'm saying or not? You see what I'm saying, right? All right, you're, you're a good business person. So you went to the store and you paid 80 cents for the candy. Then you sold them for $1.50. You made a total of $54 in profit. You take what you collected in money and subtract what you sold. That's your profit. What? <laughs> All right, does anybody have a question with 21? Anybody else on 21? Yeah. 
Jeremiah 20, 15 to the chapter 30. Why do I not subtract the 20? Because it's a different problem, I would say. But but where is the total? Yeah. You with me? All right. So here we go. 22. Nickels, dimes, and quarters. Nickels, dimes, quarters. There are four more dimes than quarters. So how many quarters are there? X. And there will be uh, how many dimes? X plus four. Anybody got a problem with that? Now it says there are twice as many nickels as quarters. That wasn't bad, right? Anybody have any issues with that? Now, do I have to multiply 2x times 0 0.05? No. Because is there a dollar amount that we know? No, we just have a total of how many coins? 36, correct? So we add these up and set it equal to 36. So 2x plus x plus 4 plus x equals 36. Everybody good with that? What do you mean? Yeah, 2x plus x plus x is 4x. Yes, 4x plus 4 equals 36. Yes, ma'am. No, go ahead. Katie, go ahead, tell me. It doesn't matter, but we'll get to both of you. It doesn't matter. Let's try eight. And then Lee, I'll get you. And then uh, Liv, I'll get you. So let's take a look at eight. Well, this is the same thing now, right? This is the same thing. All right, a profit. I I'm glad to do this one. All right. So again, we're just bought and sold. Bought and sold. Sophia paid $4 for each box of chocolate. Do we know how many she bought? How many? X. How many did she sell? X minus 12. Anybody got a problem with that? How much did she pay for them? Four dollars. How much did she sell them for? Eight dollars. Is that a good deal? Yeah. yeah. What if she sold them for three dollars? Would that be a good deal? Mm -hmm. Right. So how much money did she make? When no, no, nope. How much money did she collect? How much money did she collect? Eight parentheses x minus twelve. How much did she spend? Minus 4x. Four. Minus four That's going to equal how much? 400. Good work. Who asked about that? Does that make sense now? You sure? All right, Leah, let's go with you, girl. Okay, this is another really important one. So we have fruit cup. We have a bowl of soup and what else? Juice. All right, here we go, guys. Come on now. This one was important. The fruit cup costs 50 cents more than the soup. So the soup's going to cost what? The fruit then is going to cost, yes, X plus 0.5. Now, it also says that the soup costs 50 cents more than the juice. The soup costs more than the juice. Therefore, the juice costs what? 
less than the sub. Everybody with me? Please don't put x plus 0.5 down. Put what for the juice? x minus 0.5. I can't help you if you're not following that. We've done it for a week now. You should be able to see that now. Mr. Greep. Because which is more, the soup or the juice? The soup costs more, right? So if the soup is X, the juice is what? You with me on that? And if if you I always used to tell kids if you're if your brain's not working here, say the soup is two dollars, right? Then the juice would be what? A dollar fifty. Do you agree with that? That's how your brain should be thinking about it. I understand you can't do the variables, but you should be able to do the variable the numbers good. If I said the soup was two dollars, you say, well, obviously the juice is a buck fifty. Then, agreed. All right. Now, it says nine cartons of juice. So what will we have? Nine equals x plus 0.5. Do we agree with that? Nine cartons of juice cost the same as five fruit cups. All right, who asked for that? I forget already. Did you do that? Okay, what'd you want? All right, let's try 14. Yeah, this is another, that's the same problem. All right, good job, good job. We tried again. That's why I put them all back. All right, I wanted you to try them again. So we have a boat, motor, and a what? Trailer, boat, motor, and trailer. The boat weighs 1,500 pounds more than the motor. The boat weighs 1,500 more pounds than the motor, so the motor weighs what? The boat would weigh what? Okay, X plus 1,500. The boat also weighs more than the trailer. It weighs how much more? Yeah, but I know it's X minus 400, but if you just remember that, I'm just going to change the numbers up, right? So you have to be careful, correct? Does everybody understand why it's X minus 400? The trailer is 1,900 less than the boat. Do you agree with that? If the boat is 1,900 more than the trailer, the trailer is 1,900 less than the boat. Right, so it's this represents X plus 1,500 minus 1,900. You agree with this or not? All right, so 1,500 minus 1,900 is the minus 400. All right, that was kind of tricky. And then it just says what? The boat and the motor. The boat and the motor weigh... 2x plus 1500 as much as five times the trailer. You may have any issues with that. All right, I've had heard from the same like five people. No one else wants a question. Good, Luke. All right, I like it. Draw a triangle. The sides are what? Consecutive odds, correct? So X, X plus 2, and X plus 4. Now you might be saying, how did I get to X to X plus 2, right? If I'm going 3, 5, 7 to get from 3 to 5, I just add 2. Do you agree? The perimeter, what's the perimeter? The perimeter, help me guys. What's the perimeter of this? No, 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 no. 
the perimeter is. So I have to evaluate the perimeter. What is the perimeter in terms of a variable? Palmer. Where are you coming up with plus 11? No, what is right now? Look up, please, guys. Don't miss this now on the test. The perimeter. What would be the perimeter of the triangle? If I said, what's the perimeter of the triangle on the board? Everybody should be able to look at that and say it's just what? 3x plus what? 3x plus 6. Do we agree? The perimeter is 3x plus 6. Now it says if the perimeter is 11 more than, how do I write 11 more than? Plus 11. 11 more than what? Two times the largest side. What's the largest side? There you have it. The perimeter of the rectangle, x plus x plus 2 plus x plus 4, is 11 more than twice the largest side. Do you have any issues with that? What? I read this statement. 11 more than is plus 11, twice the largest side. Which one of those is the largest side? So twice that, two parentheses, x plus four. Okay? What time is the bell ring, guys? Anybody tell me? Today's Thursday. Does anybody know? All right. How much? Somebody says 917. All right, so we got some more time, guys. No one else. Palmer. Grapefruits and an orange. An orange has 35 more calories than a grapefruit. So what's what, Palmer? How many calories in a grapefruit? No, I'm sorry. An orange has 35 more calories than a grapefruit. 11 oranges. How would I represent 11 oranges? Okay, then what? And what do I do with those? And they equal? What's the problem? Huh? Palmer. Anybody else? All right. Well, I'm happy with that. All right. Keep reviewing the problems. You'll recognize the problems. You will recognize the problems. All right. Most of them.